I want to tell you about a program that I'm using to record my screen. It's a screen recorder. I'm very new in YouTube and if you are also new, maybe you're looking for something that makes your life easy. Well, what I've been using, which I think is very easy to use, is Flashback Express. Where can you get it from? You can get it from this link here. I'll put a link in the description box below. But you can just go ahead and write the name in Google, the name being Flashback Express. So if you write in Google, Flash Back Express, the first thing that comes is this one here. You can click it and then you can now um, go to their web page. If you go to their web page and make it a bit bigger for you to see, you go to their web page, you will see that they have products here. They have different kinds of products. They have um, Flashback Pro, which you have to pay. I don't have that now. If you are a beginner and you want to try your hands on this before maybe you buy, you can easily download the Flashback Express. That's what I'm using, I've been using, and it has been very helpful. I'll show you how to use it now. If I go out here, and then let's bring the, the program up. I have it on my desktop. So when I you just click when you download it and you choose for it to come to your that desktop you have it there. Now what does the program do? When you just click it, this box pops up. When it pops up, you have to choose. You can you have the option to choose whether you want to record your whole screen or you want to record a region of the screen, which I am doing now and I'm recording a, a, a region of the screen, or you want to record a window, a particular window on your screen. Now, if you, after you have chosen that, like I have chosen region, you have to check whether the microphone, this is ticked because you want if you will be speaking you would want people to hear you so if you take it then you can there's an option here you can select which kind of microphone you want to use if you if you've connected a, a microphone to your computer it will definitely appear here and then if you want to record your pc sound you can press here if you want to record you've seen a webcam, you need to press this one. Now, after that, all you have to do is, if, for example, if you choose, I, I have chosen here a recorder region. So let's see how this will work out. You just press record, take some time. When, when you press it, you see that a box will show up. The box, you, you can minimize the size of the box or you can increase the size of a box to fit which re a section you want to record. And then you can also change this. You can also use change the size here if you want it to be like if you want something different you can look at the options here and choose one whatever is best for you. you you choose it and then you can change the width or the height depending as you change it this box will be changing so you can play around with this to know what you want i normally just move this up and down for any and if it's okay if it covers whatever i want i just um leave it as it is and then if you want it to show red frame you see there's a red frame here i have mine ticked normally it comes with it ticked so you don't need to do anything i mean it's a good thing it makes you it makes it easier for us to see where the boundaries of the box is. and then you can also 
choose this if you want and then you just press record if you press record it gives you something like countdown like movies three two one and now it starts recording what you want to record if you finish recording you can be using your mouse to um, move up and down you will see that when you finish recording the the mouse you can see where the mouse was and everything you can be pointing to things and then after everything you if you finish recording if you if you want to stop you just press here and it stops and then it's asks it's it would ask you a question do you want to do and uh, what do you want to do with the recording do you, if you want to discard it you just discard it and do another thing again if you want to review it you can but and if you want to save it you just press save and then it takes you to where you want to save it and then you just save it well let's see how it's done now let's see here i've pressed save so if i press save it took me to some place in my directory you can go around and choose whichever directory you want to save your file to and then if you let's say i save this you can change the name here if you want the name for example try or whatever you choose then you save when you save it it's in a different format normally you want the uh, your files to be in maybe pd uh, and mp4 so you can go here and press um let's look here you can go here and press export if you want to if you want to export it to um and then you have these options you can choose whichever you want if you want windows media video option or you want avi or you want um mp4 i normally choose mp4 because i load mostly on youtube i just started my youtube channel and i think this works perfectly for me and then i just click ok and then it just saves it and that's it i think it's a very good program i would uh, it's easy to use if you need more um things like you want you need something to edit your program or anything like that then you can also go for pay a bit and then go for their pro version but for me for now and i'm just using the the express but you, i think it's a very stable good program okay don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i each time that i i do something new that helps um newcomers in youtube i will try to record it and then you can also follow up and then do the same and uh, for your new youtube channel good luck subscribe press the subscribe button thank you bye